Hello everyone, this is Mubarak Ali Khan. I hope all of you are enjoying good health, respected listeners. We are back with another video. In this video, me and my favorite student Mubashir, we will be mimicking and will be giving a mock onto the aisles. I would request you to watch it till the end so that you could listen to my feedback as well, as well as uh, the student who has prepared for almost six weeks now. And let's see how much has he uh, prepared and how confident is he today and he has a speaking test tomorrow so formally starting it with you Mabashir are yes. you good to go yeah. can I start with you yes of course why not all right so my name is Mubarak Ali Khan and this mock is going to be conducted into the head office of gateway study links okay. and the person will give you examination examine the number as well for example double five four three you will have a candidate number for example three four seven three so it right. will be there okay right. so can I see your identity card or passport? Yes, it is. All right, Mubashir, please introduce yourself to me. <coughs> Hello, this is Mubashir Khan. I belong to Peshawar. Well, I I have done my FSC from Isha Sheikh College in 2021, and I got 72% mark. And after that, I am interested in study abroad, so I got admission in IELTS Institute because IELTS is the requirement for study abroad, and this is the requirement for fulfillment of visa. And after that, uh, my future goal is I want to become a software engineer. Positive, I got the idea. Mubashir, we're going to talk about holidays, travel, and tourism. Okay. Okay. Right. This test is going to be for next three parts. In part one, I would like to have two to three phrase answers. Okay. In part two, I'll be giving you a cue card. We'll set the timer here. Sure. You'll think about the task for one minute. You may make your notes if you want to. And then we'll speak on that for maximum two minutes. I may cut you between. Okay. All right. All right. And about part three, it's going to be discussion-based questions based, up, based upon part two. Okay. Okay. So my sure. question number one from you, Bashar. Okay. Do a lot of tourists visit your country? Yes, of course. So many tourism, uh, tourists visit to our country and uh, they visit to our historical places and... Uh, 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 every season. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, what are the most popular places to visit? Well, in my country, there is a lot of uh, popular uh, places to for tourists to visit. Like uh, uh, Minari Pakistan is a historical building, and uh, on the other hand, uh, mm -hmm. Faisal Masjid and stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of historical building, historical places. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Sorry about the call. Okay. Moving on. How important is tourism to the economy of your region? Well, uh, tour, tourism, I didn't get you. Please, could you repeat this sentence? I mean to say that what when tourists come to your place, how good is that for the economy of the country? Well, uh, it's uh, immensely uh, important for uh, our country economy. Like, they, if, uh, because of tourists, uh, the, the country improved their health care and the hospitality and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I think so. All right, moving on towards the next question now. Okay. How important uh, do you think the area where you live is for tourism? What are the places nearby you live for tourism? Well, in uh, my hometown, there is like uh, no famous space for uh, fam famous places for tourists, but uh, there is like uh, uh, near to uh, my home, like uh, hills hills area. So I suggest for tourists to uh, come and uh, visit to their, their this, these places. All right, thank you very much. It calls for end of part one. Moving on towards part two now. Okay. Here you go with the cue card. I'm starting your timer with me for one minute, and please. Make your notes if you want to.
All right, Habashir. We are starting our speaking part two. You got two minutes to talk on that. Please start speaking. Well, I want to talk about a holiday that I enjoyed a lot. Well, uh, I I remember in recent uh, uh, recent Eagle Feather that holiday I enjoy a lot because uh, on that day uh, uh, we uh, meet with uh, our friend and we. Uh, forget every differences uh, with each other. We forget every differences, and uh, we uh, giving gift with uh, gift with each other to someone like with your friend, with your family member. And uh, on the other hand, uh, we went to uh, Faisal Masjid. We went to Faisal Masjid, and we enjoy a lot there. And uh, I go with my friend, uh, uh, with some friend. Uh, his name is uh, Daniel, and. Uh, Afak, uh, I go with them and uh, we enjoy a lot there and we take some photo because it's a very historic uh, building in uh, our country and we take some uh, photo and a lot of people came uh, and, uh, came at Faisal Masjid and they also really enjoy there and uh, we doing a lot of activity there like uh, we uh, do barbecue and stuff like that and uh, uh, after that we uh, visit to St. Taurus and I am very impressed that building because uh, the architecture design is very famous and they uh, very uh, incredible and uh, you know, the sh uh, shape of St. Taurus building like a uh, round shape and uh, also I am impressed the lightning design of the St. Taurus building and uh, I am very enjoyed that uh, uh, holiday because uh, all right, Ambush, I got my point. Thank you very much. Moving on towards part three now. So, why do people go on holiday? Well, people go on holiday because they want to uh, uh, enjoy their life and uh, uh, and uh, like on the working day they they feel so bored so they don't get the, those opportunity to go uh, somewhere and enjoy uh, some places so they go on holiday that's what they okay so what are the most popular types of holidays today well nowadays the most popular uh, holidays like Eid al Fitr, Eid al Adha and uh, Chauda uh, the 14 August and uh, this type of holiday are very popular in our country all right so how important is it for families to go on holiday together well, uh, it's a very important, uh, in my opinion, it's a very important for a family to, uh, to, uh, to go on holiday uh, because if they go for holiday, they see new places and they uh, took, uh, take some picture from new places. Mm -hmm. So do you think it is good for children to experience life in a foreign country? Yes, it's good for children. Uh, they, they visit to foreign country and they get some new information about foreign country they like they meet with new people and uh, this uh, like it's a very benefit for children my last question from you Mubashir. do you think it is safer to travel abroad now than in the past well in my opinion it's uh, very safe nowadays is compared to past because uh, they uh, added a lot of facility for uh, the, uh, for the people they added a lot of facility for the people they go they travel to a foreign country so that's why like it's safe for all right for thank nowadays. you very much this is the end of your spoken test okay. moving on towards now uh, the feedback round okay yeah. what do you comment on your speaking first of all how did it go what do you think in my opinion it's good like it's went uh, well not that much but okay so it's went well or it went well it went well okay yeah. <laughs> so uh moving into my feedback now uh, for the audience who is listening to us when i ask question from someone and you are following for example so try answering the way he is answering okay and so that you could you could get engaged with me and in part two you see there is one minute timer going on so in one minute timer you may also think about something for example, that how would you be behaving if you're preparing for IELTS? So what would you do over there, basically? So that's the thing. Uh, Mubashir, first of all, I'm glad that you made it. I remember your first day once you were here. And I still, I'm very happy, first of all, that you tried your level best 
to speak as much as fluent, as good, as coherent you could. So I'm glad about it, first of all. Secondly, Mubashir, um, I'm, I'm glad about the words you used, for example, immensely. Yeah. I'm happy about that word. You talked about architecture. I'm happy about that. You said lightning uh, building. It was also good. And then you also mentioned one more word, and it was positive as well. Uh, behind the positive or uh, besides the positives, there there were some negatives as well. So, and the ne the negatives were the question number one. Basically, it went well. I'm glad. Uh, in part one, question number two, you said there is a lot of, which was a good grammatical mistake. There are a lot so of. There are yes. Okay. Yes. And then you said uh, my house is in hills area or something. We call it hilly area or mountainous range. Not hills area, okay. So I also listen to the word stuff for four or five times, stuff. which which I keep telling to all of you that there is some formal vocabulary, there is some informal vocabulary, and there is semi-formal vocabulary. The semi-formal and formal is acceptable for IELTS, but not the informal words, okay? Stuff. stuff. So that is not a good word. You could have said there are some belongings, there are some things to do, so you I could mean, have it I taken think. care of. And I would request you to. Do not use this word in your real test tomorrow. Sure, sure. Okay. In part two, uh, the part two question went quite bad. Why? Because my question was in past tense. Describe a holiday you enjoyed, where you went, who you went with, what you did. So it was throughout in the past. Your language was mostly in the present tense. For example, we meet, forget, giving, Giving is fine, but you use in present sense, for you use in present continuous form. Okay. That was not good. So you were fluctuating, you see. Let me put it here. It was the past, you went to the present, then you came back to past, present, past, present, past. It was not a good thing. In whichsoever tense a question is being asked, you have to answer in the same tense. Otherwise, it won't be taking the task achievement thing. Okay? Your fluency matters. But it also matters that in which grammatical range and accuracy you are speaking. So this is also to be taken care of. I missed major eye contact in part two with you. Okay, for example, you were struggling in the beginning to speak and then in the end you were quite smooth and I got three, four big words from you. So you were more into the cue card but you were not with me mostly. You did not take care of the notes again. I don't know did you make some or not. So that is a thing to be avoided as well you should maintain a friendly eye contact not that you're staring at someone neither that you're too friendly with that person that he feels like okay he's not taking me seriously so it could be a friendly eye contact okay yeah. and then in part three my second question was what are the most popular types of holidays today i did not talk about pakistan only okay. and you mentioned pakistan throughout you mentioned eid al-fitr eid al-azha then you said chodha agast what is that? Okay. You mentioned that in Urdu. Okay. So now okay. This, the way we say in Pakistan quite often. It was supposed to be 14th of August, but not like that. It could have been general. For example, the independence days of the nation, the major religious rituals. For example, in Pakistan, we have it. With, it could have been an example, but not exactly you stay in Pakistan. Mind you, when you are speaking to the examiner, do not become religious so much and do not become patriotic too much. Like, we talk about Pakistan only, not the requirement throughout. But yes, there are some tasks which say that about your area, about your town, your about your country. Okay. So there you mention that. Otherwise, do not go into that. Okay. Do not stick to Pakistan throughout. Think big. Sure. And then, um, in the last question, there was also some mistake. You said, they added, the question was, do you think it is safer to travel abroad now than in the past? So you said, and now it is more safer because they added, they did this. Who are they? They were not introduced. The government, the government. aviation authority. Who has done that? You use a pronoun, not for a noun, but a pronoun itself. So it was supposed to be some noun to be represented by a pronoun. Okay. To sure. cut a long story short, it went well. My job was to just highlight the ignorances you had so that you could perform well tomorrow. And if Mabashir will speak like this, I'm afraid he won't be able to get more than 5.5. I'm giving you 5.5 on this. Based upon the fluency you have, you tried your style very much. And it was this style throughout. There are many, there are many. I thought maybe it was only one style throughout you had. 
involuntary movement of your hands maybe that was not relevant you were saying something yes and your hands were saying no okay so try <laughs> having a, a, a kind of connection between your body as well as your talk so okay. it, it is more effective you understand that sure you want to say something to the audience no no not at all <laughs> are you happy here learning from us yes i am very happy are you recommending them to study from us i also recommend and one video and again i recommend for you people to okay. visit this uh, academy and get admission there wow this is positive <laughs> well guys that was mumbai kari khan thank you very much for patient hearing if you have any queries there is comment box down there keep writing to me keep posting me i will reply you personally and if you have problems related to study abroad ielts pt or something blah 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 i have been talking about that so much if you have a plan we are here to help thank you very much god bless pakistan